Hi everybody, this is Kathleen Baver with Apricot Tree Planning and I'm coming at you today with a plan with me for the midweek of January. Wow, time is going fast already. And this week I'm using a printable kit from Lovey. I can't remember if it's Lovey Printables. But anyway, this is her winter woodland and I actually have a winter woodland in my shop. But this one's hers. Mine's a little different, <laughs> of course, but it's beautiful. I love this silvery glitter and the plaid mixed in. Oh, sorry, my dog is making noise upstairs. And that's the kit. And I like that in her kit she has this, you know, thick bottom washi, but she also has like some thinner lines which I'm going to use for for mine. So I'm going to speed things up because I just do better if I don't try to talk because <laughs> I can't walk and chew bubble gum. So anyway, I'll go ahead and put down all my stuff and then catch you guys at the very end. Alrighty, so we're speeding everything up. These videos are much shorter than they used to be because I'm not doing the kind of chat as I go ones. I found that I just couldn't really complete a story or a thought. I got distracted and just felt very disjointed. So I hope you're enjoying this new format for my videos. Short and sweet. Plan with me. <laughs> so this is a, a kit that's designed for an Erin Condren. Um, planner so the boxes are shorter than happy planner boxes um, there was a time I found that really hard to deal with but now it feels much more um, I've learned how to adapt things uh, so you saw there that I don't do the full boxes on Saturday and Sunday usually I have a little um, I use little three hard check boxes. This kit didn't come with them, so I just snipped down one of the to do flags and used it that way. And then I just did the regular weekend banner because she doesn't have like the, the long flags like my kits do. So, um, and then continued kind of that header line all the way to the edge and, and put down the beautiful full boxes. I love this kind of watercolory um, type of illustration. Um, I th think I especially love this kit because it kept it light and bright, but still with a wintry feel. So, um, I decided that I would kind of fill in part of that gap with this, um, washi. This is from Simply Gilded. Yes, I've fallen down the Simply Gilded rabbit hole. No, I don't buy every time she has a new release, but <laughs> I've bought a few things. And then I use that skinnier um, plaid washi just over it to, again, just kind of fill in that gap. I knew I wasn't going to need more than the standard Happy Planner size uh, box for, for what I needed to accomplish this week. And then I just used the little skinny sparkly washi that she had in the kit. So I think that basic format is just so pretty. And, you know, I used to not like all the boxes together. Um, I felt like I wanted to spread them out. But what I found was that I didn't like it to be jumbly. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for here. Oh, I think maybe I was looking to see if she had like work st stickers, but she did not. And that's okay. Because it's just been recently that I added work stickers to my kits. And I like them because I've divided out in my planner not to put like what my work goals are per se. Um, I use a separate planner for what I in depth want to accomplish that week and what I get accomplished so that my family planner just basically has what hours I think I'm going to be working. And then just using some of the half boxes and little appointment things to fill in for the week. Yep. 
up. Now, I don't use a lot of different shops um, stickers. I'm, I love watching uh, some planners who, you know, use a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And they have a lot of very specialized functional stickers. And they could tell you where each of the shops are. But if it's not from the kit, the printable kit itself, then it's from my shop. So that's another reason that I feel like I can get away with just doing um, the voiceover part because I'm not having to identify a lot of different sticker makers. One thing I loved about this kit was that big washi, that big sidebar sticker. I thought it was so, so pretty. Um, and then I went back and found some of her cute little deco to be able to mark some of the things like my work. Um, and then I just kind of ended up switching that around because I had something in the evening that I didn't have. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I had an activity in the evening that I had put my nephew's birthday as the last thing. So anyhow, I think that turned out really, really cute. And just filling things in. Sorry, my dog is barking in the background and she's just having a rough day. It's really, really cold outside. So she can't handle being outside. <laughs> but she really wants to be outside. <laughs> so we're barking at the windows. Uh, poor little beagle. There we go. Alrighty, guys. I think that's everything on this. I think it's super cute. I think it's really quite elegant. Not even just cute. It's elegant. Um, I have some to-dos to fill in for sure. And I'm sure Saturday will probably end up being work. But, <laughs> but I really like this kit. And I, I'm loving this planner. Um... I'm having a lot of fun leaving some of the elements that they've incorporated in like um, the pretty I don't know this this color combination is a, a good one for me uh, for January so I like that kind of deep coral not deep coral but that corally peachy color along with the blues I think it's very nice so anyhow I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I hope you enjoy this and uh, you should check out La Vie for her printables. And I also have printables in my shop. So if you like printables, they are really fun. And I hope you guys have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.